This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the New York Yankees. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch coming up. And on the hill today, Luis Severino. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. All right, ready to get underway. This is Corbin Carroll. That one in for a strike, two and two. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Save! Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. He's going, he's going, Runner he's on the goal. Ball misses. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Carroll at second with nobody out. In for a strike. It's two and two. Well, everyone wants to get off to a great start in a series, so if you can get on the board first, take a lead, you put some of that subtle pressure on the other team. Severino. Good eye right there. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Severino kicks deals. Got it by him for the K. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And a foul ball. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch is outside. And 
and here it comes. Ground ball right side. Torres fires over to first. Two away. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. Singing, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Swing and a miss struck him out. One left for the Diamondbacks. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. This is the World Series on the show. Back here at the ballpark, today's starting pitcher, Ian Anderson. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Just a four-inning start his last time out. He took the loss. They're looking for more out of this guy today. Bottom of the first. Leading and up. stepping Four in for the Yankees, Yankees Oswald That's Peraza. That one finds the zone. One and two. Started after the 1 2 pitch. Appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Ground ball up the middle. And that one handled. One up, one down. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Pitch misses inside. Three balls and a strike. And a big swing and a miss. One down, base is empty. Line to left. Dives for it, but he gets down for a hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. So a man aboard, Aaron Judge at the plate. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. This would be huge right here if they could get on the board and be the first ones to score in this one with the home field advantage. Get that crowd behind you and just intimidate the opposition a little bit more. Struck him out looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. And now Bader up to the plate. That misses the zone. And a count two and one. Runner at second. Two down. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. We head to the second from the big ballpark in the Bronx. No score. 
All set for the start of the inning. Here's Nolan Gorman. Game one of the World Series here tonight. And all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding. And why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today. But when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. Alec Thomas now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Way out front for strike two. No outs, runners at first and second. And now it's filled up. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. Got him swinging. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And, you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Next to hit for Arizona, Jordan Lawler. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order. Struggling as of late, but... A knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Two and one now. Severino in the air right side. Judge is under it. Makes the play and it's out number three. Diamondback strand a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Labor Torres up to hit. On a strike. The pitch. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Riding to the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two, two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And that will drop foul. Kicks and deals. Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That is good. The seven two. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. Big time power. The pitch. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three, and they turn the double play. 
I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Pitch misses there, and the count is even two and two. No score here in the second. And that's outside. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The kick, the 3 2. Got him. And the struggles continue in the postseason. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. Here's a speed threat. Corbin Carroll. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled off. He was late. The 1-2. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Stays alive. Comes a 2-2. Got him. And there's one down. Now just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. The 1-1 one -one is one cut ball. on and missed the pitch upstairs. Right side, and it goes just foul. The wide to kick the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Line drive. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series, that's what your whole goal was the entire season. Then you're there, there can be some luck involved. So you just got to shake it off, go out there, Know that this is a rare opportunity and just play your best. Here's Jose Trevino. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. That's outside. Two and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. On the ground. Ahmed gets it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And we are still scoreless. 
Start of the fourth, and now it's Christian Walker. The first base is Christian Walker. On a line, base hit. Nice line drive to the pull side, bent it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. One for one with a single so far. The 1-1. One, one. And now one and two. And a 1-2. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the grab, one away. And now the center fielder, Alec Thomas. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. In the dirt. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely full, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Now, Carson Kelly. Grounder off the pitcher. Throw on to Rizzo, and that'll do it. One left for Arizona, still no score. Ready to go, bottom four. Go. Now the number two hitter, DJ LeMayhew. Righty delivers. LeMayhew. A little out front there as he swings through it. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. In the air out to center, Thomas gets under it. One down. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next one misses, and that's ball three. And ball four, and Judge takes his walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now Harrison Bader. He's all for one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Here comes a pinch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer for yeah, Uncle yeah, Charlie, and you can game. see why. It's Way not hard. a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Labor Torres up to the plate. And he's already singled in this game. Fights that one away, still one and two. Judge leads off first with two down to the inning. This to third. They get the force, inning over. One left for the Yankees, and we're still knotted at zero. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Nick Ahmed. The one, two. And there's a the ball. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Clark Schmidt getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Popped up. Rizzo settles under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Jordan Lawler stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Fly to right his first time. Misses off the inside. Two balls and a strike.
The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two-two now. That to right. And that's a fair ball. No, no, no. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Here's the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. And he deals. Fly ball, center field. Peraza sizes this one up. Nice grab on the run. And there are two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the okay. wind's rolling around out there. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Misses off the plate, and it's two and one. Two outs. That one fouled off, two and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One left for the Diamondbacks. Halfway through this one, still no score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Stanton now. And the righty deals. Missing inside, two and one. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. 3-2 now. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Up the middle. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. The 2-1. Right grounder into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here is Anthony Rizzo. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Three, two. And there's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. Went down on strikes his first time through. This one popped up. Lawler on his way over. Snags it on the run. Two away. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now it's the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. Check swing, but he went too far. Two and two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Dive in, makes the grab. For more from the Bronx. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off, Jake McCarthy.
Here's a 1 1. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. Now just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. That one misses. Now two and two. Line drive, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Luis Severino is done, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. New pitcher for the Yankees, Clark Schmidt. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. And the right hater deals. And that's in the dirt. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now one away. You know, Berg, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Nolan Gorman stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That one hit to right. Judge is there. Makes the grab. Two down. So up next, Alec Thomas. Alec Thomas. Off the plate. And yeah, that's ball two. McCarthy off of first with two away. Going, Here comes going. the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Throw on to Rizzo. Third out, and that ends the frame. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Ready to go for the last Lee half of the off. inning. Fourth now it's LeMayhew up to hit. And a 1 1. Next offering is outside. Base hit, center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here comes Aaron Judge. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hard to order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Hit on the ground, might be two. Lawler to second, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. 
Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. Yeah, the batter now, Harrison Bader. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Tanner Howe into the game. Here is Glaber Torres. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Thomas gets under it. Makes the catch. Two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game oh, okay. and get the first hitter he Look, faces. Go, go, go. Just makes everything slow go, go, down go, go. a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Next pitch is outside. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. That one to first. Walker steps on the bag, and that's the inning. Top of inning number seven. And now here is Carson Kelly. That's the next ball. offering misses. Two and one. Two Meanwhile, ball. activity in the bullpen. Wandy Peralta appears to be getting loose. Next offering misses. Ball three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Go ahead, run on base. Nick Ahmed here to hit. And now a full count. On this count, runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boog. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. That's the first down. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Now up next for Arizona, Jordan Lawler. Ground ball, left side, over to Torres, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back here in New York, now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Right-handed reliever. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. And 
and that one hit 97 on the gun. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. 2-1 down. Fought off foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. At the belt and fires. In there at the knees, and it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and a swing and a miss they keep a big threat off the bases huge in a tie game like this one out tell you what those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass it could take away your focus from the next hitter and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run swing and a miss struck him out well anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Out towards right center field. Judge really on his horse for this one. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead, and we still have no score. Back in New York, bottom of the eighth. Here's the Yankees' leadoff hitter, Oswald Peraza. The 1-1. That one down the line. Walker takes it himself. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting, third baseman, DJ And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Next one misses, and now three and one. Aaron Judge on deck for the Yankees. In the air, center field. Thomas gets under it. Pulls it in for the out. Here is Aaron Judge, known for his late-inning heroics. Back to work, 3-2 now. The other way, and he beats the shift. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and back control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. Harrison Bader stepping in now for the Yankees. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field.
That misses the zone. Three and two now. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. The Yanks lead one. It's the ninth, and we are tied. We go to the ninth, and now the first baseman, Christian Walker. 3-1 is on the way. Right side. Brings it in, and there's one down. Now the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. The two on. Just missed. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Alec Thomas up next. On the ground to the left. Down the line, and it's foul. So now three and two. Goes down looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's the center fielder, Alec Thomas. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for him there. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Corey Knievel. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Here's Glaber Torres. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what, you're going to try to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff man of the night. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Swing and a bouncer. Ahmed in plenty of time to first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Next offering upstairs. It's ball four. He missed down low. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive no, secondary no, lead. So ball no, down the line no, or into the gap will produce no, a two-out no. RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive ball side of it. Good eye right there. Misses outside. And now three balls and a strike. Jose Trevino to bat next. So now two on and two outs. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. Took to a board and two outs, scoreless game. And now Jose Trevino. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over.
the pitch. Sets him down looking. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. Not close with that one, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. 2-2 two -two now. Hard ground ball for a base knock. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Torres. How about that double play? Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution, both on the mound and in the field to get two right there. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jordan Lawler. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Judge makes the catch, and the inning is over. We're in extras here, and now the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. And the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider, down and away. And the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Carroll going back, racing back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Hit slowly on the ground. Gorman zips it to first, and that quickly two away. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Back now in the Bronx. 11th inning set to get underway. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Corbin Carroll. pitches downstairs you know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about and a base hit on a line now around second going for third Peraza with a relay throw in there he's safe I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And a 2-1 on the way. That one back up the middle and it gets through. In comes the runner from third and it's 1-0. 
Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here in a crucial spot. Gabriel on at first. Nobody out. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Swing and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, number 97. Now here's the cleanup hitter, hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. Christian Walker. Strike two. two. Oh, and this one gets this away. Gets away. The tag, and he's out, out of the play. And that's a double play. Here's the third baseman, the third baseman. Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman. It's been such a good such hitter a with good runners hitter in with scoring, scoring position. position. Some guys just take Some it, to, just another take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in else slow motion, is and he's in full speed. 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 Two, outs. Two outs and one in scoring and position. Scored position. And look out, and look out. as that one ran, in and, ran in and got him. He had him one, had two, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, it definitely didn't, well, it definitely come, didn't come out of his out hand the way that he was intending it to, and, and the release point was a little bit off as well. Not even Not close even there. They're now three and one. Three and one. And a swing to miss. It misses, it's a strikeout. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. One nothing. One nothing. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Ken Giles. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, no one or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Well. Well, one run game. One run game. Now, it's now it's the DH, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. Corner, infielders Corner infielders guarding the lines, guarding the lines. trying to prevent trying extra, to bases. extra bases. And a foul and ball, a foul left, ball side. left side. Well, an interesting, interesting situation. situation. One swing, you can one tie up the ball game. game. But if you're patient and work a walk, walk, then you bring the game winning run to the plate. And a base hit up the middle. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. No outs. Runner at first. Here comes Glaber Torres. 1-1 one, one now. One, one now. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Walker. And they tag him out. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Runner around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Such great, Such great concentration. concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good.
good swing. swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Substitution now at first base. Pitch running here. Emerson Pereira. Here's the left fielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Next offering is foul back. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Riding to the plate. Bows it back with two strikes. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. It's right out of here. Ball game. That's got to feel good. And the Yankees walk it off for the 11. season there's so much excitement so much energy everyone hanging on every single pitch to have a walk-off win under these circumstances these people have gone crazy what a nice win but you got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game for the next game And your final 3-1 for, for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us.